Some striking photographs coming out of the normally arid and very dry Saharan desert. This is near the border of Morocco and Algeria. This area does receive a couple of inches of rain annually, but in a couple of days time during the month of September of this year, actually received uh, about a year's worth of rain in that short period of time. So much so that satellites high above us in space actually captured the lakes that formed as a result of this heavy rainfall. So going back to August 14th of 2024, you can see no lake. Let's go forward by roughly a month. And after that rainy spell, and you can see this turquoise coloring of blue, that's actually the lakes forming and ponding within the dry or typically dry and arid Saharan desert. This, by the way, is the largest uh, non-polar desert in the world. So it's amazing to see that contrast from the before and after satellite images. Here's another aerial photograph of the water piling up within uh, the valleys of the Saharan Desert. This is again over southeastern Morocco. And if we take a closer look at the rainfall totals here during the month of September, uh, that shade of blue and the white gray there, that is actually areas that received 100 to 200 millimeters of rain, roughly in some locations about a year's worth of rain just in a short period of time. And what made this particularly unique is that it wasn't part of the seasonal shift known as the intertropical convergence zone. Uh, this was actually formed because of an extra tropical cyclone. So it brought rainfall, an extreme amount of rainfall in terms of uh, what they're used to, uh, to an area of northwestern Africa that doesn't normally experience these types of events. Uh, one thing's for sure, going forward in time, there are some light showers in this forecast, but that's not an extra tropical cyclone. That's just uh, precipitation moving from the Atlantic inland uh, and that could impact some of those areas that saw the ponding within the dry desert regions of southeastern Morocco. But this has just created some incredible photography uh, coming out of the area. Look at the reflections. Uh, you can see the sand dune here in the lake and then there it is in real time above it.